Yo, what's up guys? So, welcome back to the vlog, thanks for checking it out. Um, so a bit of news since the last time I talked to you. Um, I've done a few races and I've got a plan together for next year. So, I'm going to start with the races. Uh, about four weeks ago now, I did the Narbeth Nobler Half Marathon. That was an awesome race, probably my favourite half marathon that I've ever done. It wasn't massively hilly, but it was a really difficult race to run, uh, mostly because of the terrain. It was, even though it wasn't lots of steep hills, it was very undulating, so it was constantly up and down and weaving back and forth through the woods, you know, and um, there were roots and stuff you had to jump over and logs, and it was very difficult to actually run hard on that race in terms of like getting your speed up and keeping it there. So I did that, and then a week later I ran the Cardiff 10K, which is a flat road race. Um, I did that because I wanted to see how well I paced, um, ready for the half marathon that's coming up in a couple of weeks. It seems to be my autumn position now to do the Cardiff half. So the race that I have uh, decided to sign up for in 2020 is the Lakeland 50. Um, I signed up to that, what was it, about, about three weeks ago now. Uh, put my name in the ballot, Two days later I get an email saying I'm successful, so place has been secured. Um, and that has really helped the last couple of weeks in terms of like focusing me on what I want to do. Since the South Wales 50 I haven't had a race that's been a goal race, and now I have it. I know it's 10 months away, but it still means I can sit down and con construct a plan, um, which I've already done. So the main training for Lakeland starts in January, which gives me about three and a half months to work on my base fitness and work on my strength, which is what I'm doing now. So I've decided to follow Jack Daniels running formula for uh, to build up my fitness levels. Um, if anyone's read his book, I'm using the Red uh, Intermediate Plan, um, which bases um, your workouts on four days a week you can do more if you want to, but generally those are at easy pace. So far I've done one week and it's been really good. Uh, this week coming up, I'm gonna start with my strength training again. I'm thinking of starting uh, almost back at the start where I'm gonna work out a routine of exercises and I'm gonna start with a lower weight, higher reps, just to get my, my body used to it again. And then obviously over the weeks, as, uh, as I progress, I'm gonna up the weight and uh, lower the reps. So next week, I'm gonna put out a video about my strength training. I'm gonna try and show you guys what I do in a week. So if any of you guys are interested in incorporating strength work into your running program, especially if you're looking to train for ultras like me, hopefully you'll find that video really, really useful. And obviously any feedback I can get on that would be great too. I'd love to know of ways to improve it and tweak it. And then also coming up, in about two and a half weeks time, Ginger Al is going to be doing the Gower 50, which is his goal 50 mile race for the year. I know he's been training hard, but he's had some ups and downs in his training. Um, but he's back on track now, and I'm really looking forward to chasing him around the Gower with some video cameras and putting together a video for you guys. So that will hopefully be out not long after as well. I've already been working with him quite a lot to put the foundations of this video together. So. That's coming soon. That's enough talking from me for today. Um, I'm really excited about the training I'm gonna be doing over the next few months and into next year as well, building up to the Lakeland 50. I'm hoping I'm gonna document as much of it as possible, uh, whether that's kind of daily uh, workouts and kind of a weekly setup or whether it's going on like adventure runs with the club. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Feel free to leave any comments below and um, See you guys next time.